Hey guys, Marsling and here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And so now that we've shown off the new Trunks and Zamasu teams, uh, just on a Dokkan event so we could see the teams in action, um, I did say in the previous videos that we were going to move on to showing the teams off in Super Battle Road. So that is what we are here for now. Um, this is a very interesting starting rotation. So we are starting off with the Trunks team on the future stage of Super Battle Road. Um, now obviously Zamasu can be run on Trunks' team because of course he is part of the future category. Whereas you can't run Trunks on Zamasu's team because uh, Trunks is not in the Realm of Gods category. So I decided to leave off Zamasu so we can just show him off on the Realm of Gods stage on his own team. So, I did bring the Int Zamasu though. I think he is a unit that is very, very useful for this particular stage of Super Battle Road. He's a decent tank, uh, he heals on Super Attack, so he is very useful. Obviously, Super Battle Road is challenging enough, but having the ability to get a nice free heal every now and then is very good. So, of course, both the androids decide to Super Attack Vegeta in the front slot. Uh, Int my... I brought in Mai along. I've said before, I think AGL Mai is probably slightly better for Super Battle Road because she has a higher chance to stun. Um, although, fortunately, there, AGL Mai got the. Uh, sorry, Int Mai got the additional super attack and actually managed to stun uh, 18. Although, I did mention in the video I did where we first showed off the future team, um, Int Mai has a chance to stun with her passive and with her super attack. And the super attack one is for. Um, two turns whereas the passive is for one turn and you don't really have any way of knowing which one actually activated until the start of the next turn so fortunately for us it was the two turn one so we don't have to worry about 18 this turn I should have refocused this trunks onto uh, her but I forgot so fortunately I did that with the other two attacks here and we can start putting out some damage. So the rotation that I've been uh, trying out, I've been trying a team very similar to this to try the no items attempt for this stage. Um, I think everyone on this team is technically a time traveler unit, but I've been tr uh, trying more of a time traveler's build uh, with the Trunks and my LR as a friend. Um, and that's been working out really well, actually. So... Obviously, I say. I mean, I say it's been working out really well. I obviously haven't actually done it yet, but it's been going pretty well. I can get to the last fight fairly consistently using no items, so I'm hoping that we can uh, get that done very soon. I'm going to go ahead and use this. I brought the future Bulma because on when you're running a team that has like good stunning capability. Sometimes you're really apprehensive to use your things like a Whis or an Icarus because you don't want to use it and then immediately stun the enemy and it be a waste. But then of course when if the stun doesn't activate you then take a load of damage. So you've then got to use one of your healing items as opposed to using a Whis or an Icarus. Um, so I decided to bring an item that was an extra heal as well as an attack boost because I figure that will help us out in the long run. And uh, Mai does manage to stun 17, so we should be able to take out 18. Oh wow, we took her out this turn, there you go. I, I wondered if Tech Vegeta could do it, and uh, he did us proud. So if we got the two turn stun on 17, oh, which we did. So this is going to be a very good, uh, very good turn here. So, give you those. This gives us a chance to get a nice little bit of free heals with the orbs. And then, of course, this uh, STR base form Goku Black that I brought, he was one of the recent World Tournament reward cards. Uh, he is a support unit for Time Travelers and Future Category. Um, so, like I said, I think every unit on this team is on both categories. So, he gives 40% attack, 20% defense to everyone on the team. And he also lowers attack with his super attack. So now for next turn, when 17 is no longer stunned, we have lowered his attack a little bit. So that does help us out massively as well. So I wonder how much Zamasu will take now that his attack is lowered. Because I do want to keep them as a rotation, even though we do have the freshly transformed trunks here. So let's go ahead and uh, 
to see what he can do. Because that's the other thing, the Int Mai, oh wow, 396. Uh, the Int Mai is also a support unit for Time Travelers, and she gives 40% attack and defense. So, yeah, even with type disadvantage there, Zamasu taking no damage whatsoever. And then Mai gets the stun on 17 again. So, I can't, honestly cannot overstate just how valuable stunners are for Super Battle Road. Like, I feel like back when the mono stages came out, super, uh, stunning units had fallen out of favour massively because so many Dokon events were coming out where you couldn't stun the enemy. Um, but then as soon as Super Battle Road came out, that, like, completely changed the game because, you know, in a fight like this where there's two opponents, or as you'll see, the next stage on the future uh, SBR is just sell. So when there's only one opponent, if you can just keep stunning him repeatedly over and over again, then uh, you, they can't do anything to you. <laughs> so, nice. So those we changed those. Only five orbs, which is not amazing, but it's decent enough. I mean, we're back to full health already. So uh, we should hopefully finish off. I mean, we will finish off 17 this turn, but let's see if Trunks is able to do it. I do love this super attack animation. It's a shame because, like, obviously in the longer, harder events, you want to keep Trunks not transformed. So he can keep infinitely stacking his uh, defense, but then obviously once you do transform him, that super attack animation is uh, is pretty fantastic. So, and this is the perfect situation I wanted to be in was going into this fight on this rotation because we can potentially stun um, Cell immediately, and then even if we don't, Mai will take a little bit of damage. Then Zamasu will heal us. And then we've got Goku Black to lower the attack at the end there as well. So, But we do get the stun. And another additional. This Mai has been uh, hitting quite a few additionals. Since she is basically a support unit, I split her abilities between additional and dodge. I'm not sure if I even gave her any crits. I say that. She's probably crit already in this video and I didn't notice. But yeah, since her main goal is here to support the team as well as attempt to stun the enemy. I mainly focused on dodge and additional so this actually works out really nicely as well because we don't have to have a turn where our untransformed trunks has to take any attacks because um, I mentioned this in the Zamasu video yesterday for the Realm of Gods team showcase well I say Realm of Gods we had Turles on there but on Zamasu's team showcase is both the units are quite unimpressive in their first turn before they have their first transformation um, so it's very lucky for us here to have Cell stunned. We don't need to worry about our uh, base form trunkses, and no items are required. So, okay. So, oh, we can't get a super attack with Mai in the front slot. That's not good. Well, I want to prioritise getting it with my... Oh, I really didn't want to get the Dokon attack with her, though. That's a bit... Uh, that's a bit of an oof, but... That's right, we'll go ahead and do this. I mean, we're on full health. As long as he doesn't super attack Tech Vegeta at the end, there's no way we can uh, die in this one turn. It's just a little bit of a shame that we're getting the Dokon attack with my... And... Uh, it's not really going to do a lot of damage. It would be quite nice if we'd uh, managed to avoid that until the next turn and hit it with one of our transformed trunkses. But oh well, let's see what uh, Int Mai can do. I think mine is 90%. I still need one dupe for her um, to actually rainbow her. But I mean, yeah, her attack stat isn't even close to a million. So uh, we're not going to be looking at a huge amount of damage here. Yeah, she did a million damage, and she got the stun, which I guess realistically is more important. Because as long as Mai keeps stunning Cell, we could essentially go through this entire fight against him without actually using any items. So, and we got yeah, we got the two turn stun again. So very decent. Let's do this. I want to start building up the uh, Dokon mode again as much as we can. I don't think we'll need a second Dokon attack by the time we finish off uh, Goku Black and Zamasu in the last stage, but might as well start building it up, because it's not like we need the uh, t the orbs for healing at the moment, since we are 
on full health and keeping this uh, cell locked down in the stunned state. So, plus we're hitting him with the uh, occasional attack lower from Goku Black as well. So, even if he doesn't get stunned, he's not going to be dealing out huge amounts of damage to us. So. This is all working out perfectly. We have so many items left for uh, Trunks and Zamasu. Uh, sorry, Trunks and Zamasu for uh, Goku Black and Zamasu at the end. See, in this situation, it makes more sense. Or actually, especially because she can't super. It makes more sense to put Zamasu in the front because he's such a good tank. Like, he's going to take no damage from these attacks from Cell. And then Mai gets the chance to stun. Because if Mai doesn't stun with her initial attack, uh, she would take a lot more damage than Zamasu would in that front slot. So, plus, of course, we couldn't get her a super attack. And we definitely want to keep stunning Cell as much as we can. There we go. <laughs> wow, she is uh, she's putting on work. It's typical that this is happening now. And then when I try and record my no item runs, they uh, constantly refuse to stun for me. So, but hey, it's working out well now. So, ah, oh, there you go. So we did only get the one turn stun. Oh no, there's just so many. <laughs> He's got so many status effects applied to him. It took ages for it to actually cycle around. Okay. <laughs> uh, they don't share any links or anything together, do they? No, everyone on this rotation links pretty much the same. So we'll go ahead and grab these. And we'll just give you that. So double supports again on the rotation. That's the thing. The easy A's for physical trunks and the tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta made them so useful um, to run on these teams, like especially these future-based teams. Because not only are they decent support units, but their easy A's made them very solid units in their own right. Like they're reasonably tanky, they deal a reasonable amount of damage. And then of course, because of the restriction in their passive that you need two Vegeta family members for their passives to be fully active you just bring both of them on the same team and then there you go so I still can't super attack with Zamasu we're getting very unlucky the fact they only needs three key to super and we keep getting into these situations where there's only two key available for the uh, first slot but and uh, my boy not coming through with the additionals. I gave him quite a bit of additional attack as well because he heals on additional. So I think my probably will finish it off here. Yeah, she didn't. Oh, she didn't actually get the stun for once, but she uh, she took him out instead. So I guess that's the uh, that's the next best thing, eh? So now we get to go into the final stage. We're on full health. We got tons of items, so I can't see this uh, going wrong. Not great that we have the double trunks uh, untransformed scenario. Um, I've got two Zamasu attacks in the front, but so many Goku Black, so it doesn't really make any sense to put that other trunks first. So, since we're on full health, we kind of have no choice but to use the Icarus here. Um, and then recover from there, depending on how it goes. Because I think even if we get. Even, if, even with a type disadvantage super attack here, we should be okay. I should have been attacking Goku Black with Trunks, shouldn't I? Because uh, of the old type disadvantage. But we'll go ahead and do this. Um, unless we get super unlucky. Oh, well, okay. So Goku Black's going to super attack Trunks. That's good. I was going to say, if uh, Zamasu super attacked Trunks and Goku Black super attacked the physical Trunks in the middle, that would be the uh, worst possible scenario. But... And we're going to get, get an additional super with base trunks. Unfortunately, before he transforms, that's uh, not super helpful because he's not buffing his defense at all. But I still take him 45k from normals with an Icarus active. That's actually uh, a little bit crazy. Oh, well, he's just going to dodge. And then... How much health do we actually have left? Are we going to die still? Are you seriously going to tell me that with an Icarus active in the last fight? <sighs> wow, look at that. That is insane. So they did all of that damage to us in one turn. I mean, that kind of shows you just how uh, not, not great Trunks is when he's uh, not transformed. So we're going to go ahead and use um, a Princess Snake for the damage reduction. 
and then let's use um, a future Bulma just to get that little bit of extra healing on top as well as the attack boost and then let's focus on taking down Zamasu here so he's the one doing all the attacks at the back end so we'll try and stun him and just get rid of him obviously Vegeta doesn't have uh, Vegeta has type disadvantage over Zamasu but I would rather attack him in the hopes of a crit because really what you want to do when there's two opponents is focus on stunning one of them and then wear down the other one um, so we'll just keep dealing as much damage to Zamasu as we can obviously in this turn I decided to stun him just because he's the only one attacking at the back end of the turn so it just makes sense to not let him attack us for the rest of the turn Okay, so we're going to get Trunks to transform. So now, aside from super attacks, uh, Trunks is going to be able to tank hits for us reasonably well. Uh, Mai did only get the one turn stun on Zamasu though, so that's not ideal. Hmm. The trick here is judging when he's going to super attack. Because if I put physical Trunks in the first slot, I bet Goku Black will super attack. If I leave Trunks in the first slot, I bet Zamasu's going to super attack. So it's uh, it's difficult to know which one of those I should go for in this situation. Um, I mean, Trunks does have over 100k defense already. And as much as we don't need the heal, we should probably go ahead and use the Android 8. Because it means anything other than a super attack, we're going to tank with no issues so right we'll leave him in the first slot and then we'll get Goku Black at the end here to attack lower himself because he's got to take all those hits at the back end so but yeah non supers wow still 43 though Oof. even with the uh, defensive boost from the Android 8 that's crazy but now that he's super attacked we should see those numbers drop yeah, so from 45k to 12k, that's uh, yeah, that's much more reasonable, isn't it? So as soon as we take out one of the two, then we are going to be in a much more comfortable position, especially depending on how my wow, really 60k with his attack lowered and uh, Android 8 active. That's um, not what I expected. Interesting. Okay, so, oh really? So we can't get the free heal, which is disappointing. Uh, there's two attacks from both. So yeah, we should probably try and stun Goku Black since he's the one that's gonna be still alive after all of this. Um, and then, yeah, I guess we need to go ahead and use this. And then hopefully, hopefully Trunks can uh, get us a nice crit here or something. So the Trunks is 69%, just like mine. I can't remember if I mentioned that at the beginning, but both the Trunkses on this run have one dupe. Um, I'm yet to see a Rainbow Trunks on my friends list, actually. I've seen uh, the homie Goresh has a Rainbow Zamasu set at the moment, I believe. But I think the highest I've seen is uh, our bro, the first Warden, has a 79% Trunks up at the moment. Um, but I already used him earlier for <laughs> something else. But yeah, I'm literally only seeing like 55% or 69% Trunkses. But to be fair, I have seen a lot of posts from people saying that they uh, have been having trouble with the new units. It seems to be quite um, split down the middle. I've seen people either getting ridiculously lucky or um, having really bad luck so um, I guess we just go all in on Goku Black here don't we uh, sorry on Zamasu since Goku Black is stunned hopefully we take out Zamasu nice and early because physical trunks here should be able to deal quite a decent amount of damage with the double supports did he take him out no okay well trunks will take him out here even without a crit I think as he's uh, building up his attack yeah, he did. Okay. So now we're in a much better position because now we only have Goku Black to worry about 
We're on a reasonable amount of health. And yeah, this is a very good rotation because we can put you in the front. Get that heal. And then Mai can go for the stun. And then Goku Black can hit that attack lower as well. So if he's going to super attack this turn, I would rather he super attacks Zamasu. But we will survive if he super attacks um, Goku Black. But come on, Mai. Come through and get the stun. There we go. Even if it's only the one turn one. We hit him with the attack lower. We've got Trunks transformed and already a little bit of defensive stacking on the next rotation. So we are all good. Oh, well, he's two turns stunned anyway. So, Oh, we've got double Trunks rotations. Okay. Shall I use the Spirit Sword on one of them? I could use it on the one on the back end, I guess. In fact, let's do that, because depending how the orbs change, I can try and manoeuvre it so that we can give them the most orbs, because the first two units only need one, literally don't need any key to super, so he's going to change a certain colour of orbs to tech, and then his passive is he nukes on any colour orbs. It's obviously just an advantage for you to pick up the tech ones and uh, get some health back and stuff, but depending how they change... Yeah, see, they didn't really change in a way that was that useful to us but it means we can drop that down for you in fact yeah that's probably fine because it's going to pick up all of those oh and we're getting the dokon attack in the front slot okay yeah i think we're probably done here because uh the dokon attack i don't think will finish him off but the dokon attack followed by a little bit of damage from the physical trunks followed by <laughs> the spirit sword attack in the final slot i think it's probably goodbye Goku Black at this point so let's see what are we gonna do with the actual Dokon attack itself should do at least a million right 1.5 maybe well wow, 1.7 okay I mean you can see like how much health he's still got <laughs> so 1.7 on the Dokon attack unfortunately no crit for the physical trunks and then spirit sword trunks are up to 2.4 million attack stats so yeah, 1.3 pretty much for him. Oh, and an additional as well. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> additional Spirit Sword super attack. So a nice little... Oh, a crit as well. So a bonus 1.6 million damage. Um, and look at <laughs> look at all that health that he still has. It's crazy. Um, right. So is it better to do this? Because they at least link. What link do they have? prodigies okay um yeah go on then we'll do that because hopefully my will just stun anyway um and then he, i guess even if she does take a bit of damage zamasu is going to heal with his super i mean if my just stuns then it's gg basically so well there you go so yeah we are going to end on full health we got a little bit sketchy there with uh, having to use having to double up on some items just to get that extra effect but it turns out we were not in danger and he's still stunned so I guess there's only one way we can really uh, finish off Goku Black on future Super Battle Road isn't there so we are going to have to have to go ahead and transform Trunks and finish him off with a nice big spirit sword attack hopefully it transforms orbs and gives me a nice amount to give him so how are we looking yeah, that's not terrible because we can pick up all these ones here. So we'll go for that. Give you that, and might as well give you all of those. So there you go. This is going to be the big finish on Goku Black. Two point eight million on the Spirit Sword. So there you go. That is going to be the future stage of Super Battle Road beaten with the new double tech trunks future team i do think personally if you're struggling to do this stage at the moment and you did pull the new trunks you should use him as the leader and then probably still bring a trunks and my friend because we saw here that the trunks can perform pretty well but trunks and my with their ability to stun uh coupled with the my we saw how useful she was on this run um, I do think it would be better with a Trunks and my friend. But there you go. We managed to beat it. We had one item spare. So definitely not the worst run. We absolutely laid the smackdown on Goku Black in that last uh, 
couple of turns, so that was pretty awesome. So, anyway, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Master Ningen. Smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. You can follow me on Twitch or join my Discord. The link is in the description below. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.